are back now on Spring Cleaning Week here on the Hampton Road Show. You may be ready to get cleaning and green cleaning products are growing in popularity. Remember Lori Clayton? <laughs> yes, you I do. Lori? I'm Lori. Flat Lori. Flat Lori. Lori Clayton. Well, <laughs> we used to see her here on the Hampton Road Show sharing her great coupon deals and money saving tips. So when Cheryl Tan asked her, What's your problem? Lori said this. In your household, typically household These gifts. days, Lori Clayton counts on savings through products she no longer has to buy. I lived on Windex. Windex and paper towels, those were, that was my thing. But then I realized that I could take the harsh chemical out and I could make it, not have a lot of harsh chemicals in my house. No more harsh chemicals and an instant impact on her wallet. Over the last three years, Clayton has gone back to the basics. Here are her top three cleaning items white vinegar, baking soda, and microfiber cloths. You want to go to these two things. Um, vinegar's been tested, it helps to disinfect. But the other thing too is the reaction between the two, we've all seen that you know science project in the fourth grade where we make a volcano and it explodes. That is a great thing for cleaning agents as well. Not only for sinks, disposals, but you can actually do it in your toilet as well and it helps to disinfect, to clean. If you're looking for kind of an abrasive agent that's not gonna hurt um, a surface, Baking soda is great. Instead of paper towels? Any microfiber picks up seven times its weight in dust. You're not using, you know, the chemicals to dust your furniture. You're not leaving all that residue behind. Same thing with windows, mirrors, countertops, and you're getting a streak-free shine. To prove it, Clayton shows us a window streaked with butter. This is essentially the microfiber towel, and I'm taking it and wetting it in water. I told you, you know, we got butter on the window, and I've just got water on my microfiber cloth. And I'm just going to start cleaning this window. Streak, free, shine, and it's gone. While plain water is Clayton's liquid of choice when cleaning with her microfiber cloths, she also uses a window cleaner she makes herself. You're going to need about 24 ounces of water, and I went ahead and pre-filled this with water. I'm going to add a teaspoon, which is essentially about one-third of this, of Dawn soap. I'm going to add white vinegar. Um, and it takes one teaspoon of white of the Dawn and then it takes three tablespoons of white vinegar. And then I'm going to add a little bit of rubbing alcohol as it helps with the drying time. And there, that's all it takes. Clayton makes laundry detergent right too. Here. Borax powder, um, wash super washing soda and zoat soap. It doesn't have to be zoat, it can be any type of laundry bar soap and you're gonna, you can make a liquid or you can make a powder and essentially you're just putting all that together and you can use it in high efficiency washers as well as your top loaders. So super simple. If you're looking to remove smells as well as soften your laundry, you can use white vinegar. Put it in instead of bleach and what it does is it washes in your clothes, removes really, really stinky odors, but it also helps to soften your laundry. That's one way to do it and your clothes don't smell like vinegar. Speaking of the laundry, Clayton says the drying process is more efficient because of these. Dryer balls. You can pick these up at any store, but the thing that's so amazing about these is not only do they help with static electricity, they help reduce wrinkles, but the other thing too is they help reduce your drying time. I've cut my drying time by about 25% just by putting these two little things in my dryer with my laundry. I know it sounds crazy. It sounds absolutely crazy, but it works. Cleaning methods that have stood the test of time that Clayton says in the process save time and money. Well, Lori looks like a mad scientist. All right, Lori Clayton says the only thing you need to get used to is the lack of cleaning product smell. She says essential oils can bring in the aromas you love in your home. Thank you, Lori, and thank you, Cheryl.